So after discussing the queen, we are here with the king. What happens when the king of all planets, Surya, the sun himself, decides to bless you? And we know very well what does the sun represent. He represents name, fame, power, position, authority and status. And he gets directional strength in the 10th house and gets exalted in the first house of the Kalpurush Kundli, which is Aries. So how can you know using your son if you have massive name fame in the horoscope here are 10 signs and as usual if you have not seen the other planets please watch it you will find it in this omg astrology playlists uh, secrets playlist and you will find it for saturn rahu ketu and moon and i think mercury and venus also all right so if you're new don't forget to subscribe and visit my website for consultations um, if you are interested and here you go the first, the first, first. So, three of them are from, uh, two are from numerology, one is from palmistry, and the rest, seven, they are from astrology, okay? So, the first is if your basic number or destiny number is one. Now, what is basic number? Just take your date of birth, just see the day. So, if your day is like, you know, one, ten, <coughs> or nineteen, no, so then you know your basic number is one, okay? So, whatever is your day, just add it. And if it is single, then anyways, it's uh, one itself. Okay, so add your day. And if it comes to one, then this is a very powerful number. Or add your entire date of birth. Entire, full date of birth. Day, month, year. And if it comes to one, then you know that's your destiny number. So, very, very powerful positions of... Uh, the great Bollywood star Dilip Kumar Saab, his uh, date of birth, if you add, it comes to one. And Bollywood superstar Amitabh Bachchan, the king of Bollywood, if you add his date of birth, that also comes to one. Destiny number one. Subramaniam Swami, if you add his date of birth, comes to one. Himanta Biswasarma, chief minister of Assam currently, if you add his date of birth, comes to one. There are so many examples. Osho. Rajneesh, if you add his DOB, it comes to one. And you see these people, irrespective of the fact you like them, you don't like them, you agree with what they say or not, but they are massively popular. All right. So therefore, if you have Destiny 1, especially you are, you are supremely lucky. <laughs> lucky not just, you know, mechanically it can make you a bit arrogant sometimes or it does make you... <laughs> But in general, it's a great number to do big, big things and big activities, okay? So therefore, you can always see, uh, you can go and see, you know, Rajiv Gandhiji's date of birth. Again, the destiny number is one, okay? So you can see many, many examples with this number. But of course, this has to be supported in the horoscope also because on the day Rajiv Gandhiji was born, there are so many people, but only one became prime minister, okay? But if you have this and other combinations, then uh, it makes uh, your possibility very high, okay? Then the second one is using palmistry, okay? This is massive and I'll tell you uh, the power of this. This is the thumb, okay? So you have the thumb. So you make your hand straight like this, okay? So when you make it straight, if your thumb crosses this phalanx, okay? This one. So don't artificially do it like this. <laughs> don't do all this just take it like this and then if it crosses this this phalanx so then uh it 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 shows your thumb is very long does it cross for me <laughs> unfortunately not so so if your thumb crosses this phalanx then you have extreme leadership qualities extremely high leadership qualities and if you see the uh, thumbs of three people uh, in india especially you can see their thumb is almost this or it also crosses. One is of course Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He's the Prime Minister for the third time consecutively. Then uh, Arvind Kejriwal, if you see his thumb also, it is almost near or a bit, not not exactly high higher than this, but almost there. Uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, who has emerged as the kingmaker, main man in the TDP in South India. A part of the NDA government, like literally they are part of the NDA now. Without them, the government will collapse. So he's also having this. So if you want to become like, you know, some big person like prime minister or president of a country, you need this, okay? Because this shows you have extreme leadership capacity. You, you know, go and take lead and you go and like to do things yourself, okay? And you also inspire others to do. 
so this is very important and this preferably should be seen in the right hand okay now so these two are from astrology and numerology uh the rest eight sorry are from uh astrology okay so numerology palmistry is over now let's come back to jyotish now for Jyotish, the first thing, which is number three, is the classic Surya in the 10th house, but well supported. Just if you have Sun in 10th house, it, it, it may not give you name fame. It will give you, but uh, the level may not be very high. So, for example, your Sun is in the 10th house, but it is in a fire sign, then it's exceptional. Okay. So, for example, it's in Aries or Leo or, you know, it's in Sagittarius. Brilliant, that is. Okay. And if it is in a air sign, you know, not the best because sun gets debilitated in Libra, right? So, therefore, it's very important that you check the dignity also and also the 10th lord. So, if sun is in 10th in a good sign and it is um, in great dignity, then you know this sun is very powerful, but sun dasha must come, okay? So, this can award you like you might become an IS officer or a politician or somebody very big, you know, in the company. But this primarily gives you awards from the government, okay? Award not just like Padma Shri, Padma Vibhushan and, you know, a President Medal of Freedom or something like in they give in the US. But awards means in general, you know, you can get, you know, home, or you can get car, basically all the things which politicians and bureaucrats get. Because uh, if you read the scriptures, you know, they say, at this position, uh, the king awards you with, you know, elephants and hor uh, horses and all this, you know, which is modern day, you know, like vehicles, SUV and all this, right? So, therefore, this is hands down the best placement to have in the horoscope. If you have this, you are extremely fortunate and you have great leadership capacity. So, you are destined to go and uh, become a manager or an IS officer or an MP or an MLA, all right? Or a senator. <laughs> or a president, of course. Number four. Surya well supported, but in the first house of the Dashamsha chart. See, what is the D10 chart? The D10 chart literally tells you about your profession. So, if Surya is in the first house, then you are a person who begins something. Okay, so therefore, if Surya is in the first house of your D10, then uh, you, you you are like a people mover. Okay, you... You can move the entire country or the crowd. Okay, so therefore this is one of the best placements. So, uh, but now in this also, uh, Surya has to be in a good dignity, and the Lagna Lord of the D10, Lagna Lord of the D10 should be well placed. Okay, and adding to that, you know, if in your Lagna chart you have Surya in the tenth house in the Bhav chart, and uh, or in your Dashamsha you have it in the first house. And you have destiny one or basic one. Oh boy, you you will shine. <laughs> and your thumb is also longer. <laughs> Don't forget palmistry. Number five. This is one of the most brilliant things you can have. And I will give you examples. Wait for this. Sun Mercury conjunct in the horoscope. But also you have the number nine and five in numerology. So for example... You are born on, you know, 9th of May or, you know, 5th of September or you are born on 1995 or 1959 or uh, either ways, you know, your basic is 9 and somewhere else you have 5 or, you know, basic is 5 and your destiny is 9, whatever, either ways. And you have Sun, Mercury together because uh, <coughs> uh, in the in the, hor in, in the, uh, in the realm of palmistry, what happens is, uh, sorry, in the realm of numerology, the yoga 9 and 5, this acts like uh, Buddha Aditya Yoga, similar to that, okay? But if you have 1 and 5, then also it is very powerful. But 9 and 5, in numerology, 9 is bars and 5 is uh, mercury. But here, Buddha Aditya Yoga works like it makes you very supremely, very highly intelligent, okay? Supreme intelligence. So, in, Pamish, in astrology, you need uh, sun and mercury together. And in numerology, 9 and 5, okay? Or 1 and 5 will also do, but it is not as great as 9 and 5, okay? So, the same energy of intelligence comes differently in numerology and astrology. But if you have both of them, my God, this is excellent. You you will never get bored with such a person, okay? Let me, get, okay, should I give you examples? Well, so many examples. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has this, ex-Prime Minister uh, Manmohan Singh Ji has this, uh, Dr. S. Jashankar has this. Dr. Sashi Tharoor has this, okay. 
So if you see both of these person, all, all the four personalities, they're you know very highly intelligent and yeah, they they, they know how to get things done, right? So and therefore, uh, these are uh, fantastic placements, okay? And uh, nine and five is there for all the four, okay? And I, I can give you like so many examples, okay? But, but it does not make sense. Uh, the current finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, she also, Sitaraman, she also has this nine and five. And you also, uh, so therefore, if you have this, you know, uh, Sun Martri together and nine and five, brilliant. This is like, this is matchless, okay? Now, uh, the next is if you have Sun, Saturn together, Sun, Saturn together, conjunct in a good house. Now, what is a good house? Either the 1st, 5th, ninth, 10th or 11th, okay? So, Sun and Saturn are extraordinary, uh, Sun and Saturn conjunction is an extraordinary conjunction for hard work and success, contrary to what people believe, you know, defamation and all this. But along with this, you need to have this in good houses, as I said, and in good dignity. And along with that, in numerology, you need to have the number 1 and even 8, okay? So that means you are born, suppose, on, you know, uh, 18th of August. So then what happens is you have the number 1 and 2 8s, okay? Or you have, like, you know, uh, 4 8s, for example, you know, uh, 18, 18 August 1988, so even number of eights and the number one is required. Uh, so therefore, uh, in numerology, what happens? The number one is the number of the sun, and number eight in even numbers like double eight, quadruple eight is representing a positive Saturn, and this can give you great gains in real estate and you know building your empire. So uh, the the person, what was his name? Uh, yeah, Hiranandani Group. I think is the chairman or he's the owner of the group, uh, uh, Niranjan Hiranandani, he has this. Okay, He has one and uh, double eight. He has this. Okay, This is a phenomenal combination to have. So many people have this. Okay, So many Bollywood stars, celebrities have this. Okay, <clears throat> So, therefore, this is a phenomenal placement. And along with that, in astrology, if you have you know, Sun, Saturn, either in the first, fifth, nine, ten, then oh, this is phenomenal. Okay, Now, if you have only one of these, uh, these two then it's okay it's average but if you have both it's phenomenal okay now number seven sun rahu conjunct sun rahu together but connected to the first or the tenth house now sun rahu together can also give you name and fame but not in any random house okay it does not work i've seen but in the first or the tenth phenomenal this is you know i mean mind-blowing this is any examples President Donald J. Trump, son Rahu in the 10th. <laughs> this can make you very inflated, your sense of ego, uh, that could be there. And, and that's classic Trump. Uh, but for name and fame, this is phenomenal. Okay, There's no doubt. I mean, yesterday, uh, two days back when you saw the video of Gandhiji, I said, you know, Moon Rahu in 10th. And here the same rule applies, son Rahu in 10th. Fantastic position. Okay, For name and fame, Okay, may not be for everything else. <laughs> number eight if your lagna lord of your d1 okay or your 10th lord either of them if they are sitting in the nakshatras of the sun so which are the nakshatras ruled by the sun you know we have kritika nakshatra then we have uttara falguni we have uttara bhadrapat okay so if your lagnesh is in kritika or your 10th uh, lord is in uh, uttara bhadra uttara falguni okay these are also very powerful placements because if you see uh, Uttara Falguni and Uttara Bhadrapada, they are, they are both are sthira nakshatra. They are extremely powerful. And Kritika is the nakshatra of fire, purification, burning, and, you know, effulgence, bright, brightness, okay. Can be extremely powerful. But for this, the overall chart has to be good. And there should be, uh, there should not be too much confusion in the horoscope. Now, what is confusion? Confusion means... You know, uh, some players are saying uh, you will go into real estate. Some are saying you will go into IT. Some are saying you will go into politics. Okay, so it should not be like this. The chart has to be a bit unidirectional. Only then this works. Okay. Now, number nine. Sun, moon conjunct. But connected to either the first house or fifth house or ninth house. And in numerology, you need to have the number one and two. Okay, like... Amitabh Bachchan, he has one and two. You go and check his date. But Dilip Kumar Sav has this. You know, uh, what was his name? Uh, what what is that? No superstar. Khanna. 
Rajesh Khanna, he also has you know one and two. <clears throat> but in astrology, if you along with that, if you have sun and moon together, so if they are you know in the uh, first house or fifth house or ninth house, then this shows you have a great balance of you know competence and um, competence and humility. Okay. Competence, uh, you 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 have the smartness and you have empathy also. So humility, empathy, and all these things are there. Okay. Otherwise, if the number two is not there, you can become like a dictator. And if number two is only there and one is not there, you can be headless. Okay. So extreme success is a combination of empathy, uh, humility, and uh, competence. Okay. So if you have both the qualities, and in the trines, if you have this, the first, fifth, or ninth, it gives you extreme talent. Okay. So this makes your life much, much, much better. And last but not the least, you have a strong chart and your ascendant is Leo or sun is in Leo, your moon is in Leo or your Lagna Lord is placed in Leo. Okay. So that means if any Leo ascendant or any Leo sun sign, any Leo moon sign or anybody who has Lagnesh in Leo has a strong horoscope, anybody who has this by default has a very high potential for success. And you you know Donald Trump, right? He's Leo Lagna, he has Mangal in Lagna, then Sun Rahu in the 10th, you know, Moon in the 4th. I told you for Moon also, you know, so he has all these combinations, right? So, and you see, like, you know, he's been the president and recently was shot and he's like back, right? <laughs> of course, he's filled with the, he's full of himself, but he's very successful, okay, in real estate and politics and whatever and Anyways, nonetheless, so these are combinations which bless you with extreme name, fame, power, position, authority. And if you have three or four of these, then you will have average name and fame. If you have five, six or more, at least you will have above average name, fame. And if you have like whatever, you know, seven, eight, nine, you'd be extremely famous. And if you have like, you know, eight, nine, ten, then anyways, that is the limit. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I'm interested to know what do you think. Please let me know down in the comments. All right. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And for personalized consultations, you can go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of how much wealth is destined for you. All right. Take care. Jai Siya Rao.